Miss Carter. Miss Carter. Miss Carter. Who the hell are you? How'd you get in my house? The door was unlocked. Are you Miss Carter? Carter was my mother's married name. <laughs> Nolan. Layla Nolan. Now who are you, and why are you in my house? We represent a private law firm. We need to talk to you. It's important. Okay, listen. <laughs> if it's about me stabbing that girl in the thigh the other night, it was self-defense. She tried to steal my pills. People are crazy. That's not why we're here. You might not want to mention that. Does the name Benjamin Carter mean anything to you? Nope. Is he your father? Define father. He's a man I knew when I was younger. He never acted like a father. I haven't seen that man in years. To tell you the truth, I hope he dies. Miss Nolan, we represent your father. He is in fact dying. Good. A couple of years ago, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. It's inoperable. The cancer spread. It caused him to lose his sight. When the doctors told him how long he had left, he checked himself out of the hospital. He didn't want to be there full of tubes and meds. He wanted to go peacefully at home. Well, today started off well. Why are you telling me this? Do you think you should be mixing alcohol with those pills? Oh, absolutely. We're telling you this because he redrafted his last will and testament, and he left you quite a substantial amount of money. Half a million dollars, to be exact. Check or cash. There lies the rub. He stipulated in his final will that the only way for you to get the money is if you go and see him before he dies. Nope. I'd rather die than take his charity. When I was a kid, he used to abuse my mom and me. Hence why we left. And one time he actually stabbed me. We were having a barbecue and I knocked over his drink. He was a raging alcoholic back then. So anyway, he screamed at me. And you know those long type meat fork things? Yeah. Well, he grabbed one and plunged it right into my side. So, I'm glad he's dying. It seems like you need it, living off pills and booze. Don't judge me. Either way, it can't hurt to do better. If you go, call us. We'll take care of it. He's staying at your sister's house. Don't care. Now get out of my house. Where is he? He's in my room. Can we get this over with? You have two minutes, then get out. So seriously, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, I got it. <laughs>